So what are we going to be doing to here? We'll take a look at this. These are some sap homemade of sweet potatoes I bought five years ago, four or five years ago. And I planted them and grew them, I planted them and grew them, I planted them and grew them. And today we're on our fifth generation of those sweet potatoes. Let me show you this, and the reason for this golf ball and this tennis ball will become obvious. Some time ago I posted a video about the best size for a sweet potato. Uh, and to my way of thinking, the sweet potato should be bigger than a golf ball but smaller than a tennis ball, somewhere in between. So those sap or uh, that I grew this year, um, I've set some aside to grow next year, as I've been doing for the last five years. Let me show you these. These are the sap or that I've set aside to grow next year. Okay, not quite as big as the tennis ball, but bigger than the golf ball. They're the ones that we're going to be growing this year. Now then, I find it amazing that a potato that big can produce so many potatoes just as big, some smaller, but some absolute whoppers, some real big potatoes. Uh, and you never know what you're going to get till you dig those potatoes up. Now this, this is typical seed potato size. If you're buying seed potatoes, these, the, this is the likely size of seed potato that you'll be buying. Some slightly smaller. But if you have the choice, would you prefer bigger seed potatoes? Would it make a difference? Well, you're at home grown veg, and if you're growing your own potatoes, you do have that choice. Every year when you harvest your potatoes, you may want to set some aside. I've set these aside. But I've also set these aside. Let me show you this. Wow, that's a potato, it's probably grown up a potato that big, produced some this big. Let's sit it down there. The size of this thing, it's at least nine inches long. You're never going to buy seed potatoes as big as this, are you? Never. Uh, why not? Because they just don't sell them that big. That's why not. Um, and let's face it, if you're purchasing seed potatoes by weight, you're going to get a lot more of these in a bag than these. And if the bag was full of these, you're probably going to be disappointed because there won't be enough in there for your requirements. And look at this guy here. That's another big potato, is it not? Right, so, where's this leading? Well, it's leading to a trial, isn't it? It's leading to a trial. We've got three big potatoes grown from small potatoes. And we've got these three small potatoes, haven't we? So what I'm going to do, the trial I'm proposing, is that I'm going to set these aside now. These are going back into the salad drawer in the fridge and these are going to sit now for the next 
five, six months. Then we'll bring them out, we'll chip them up, and we'll plant them. So if that potato can produce potatoes as big as this, and that potato on the face of it looks about 20 times as big as this one, Could this potato produce potatoes 20 times bigger than itself? Blimey, I'll need a JCB to get them out if it does. Uh, but we won't know that, will we, unless we do this trial. So yeah, the trial's on. The trial's on here at homegrown veg. And if you want to see a result, well, this is long term, isn't it? This isn't going to happen overnight. Let's see if we can produce another one of those monsters from these bigger potatoes because we'll have, when we harvest these potatoes we'll do a direct comparison potatoes grown from your average size seed potato potatoes grown from big potatoes uh, now I have no intention of reducing the number of eyes on these potatoes by taking cheats off or gouging eyes out and just growing the one, I'm not looking for the world's biggest potato here, yeah? I'm just trying to determine if small potatoes can produce big potatoes, can big potatoes produce even bigger potatoes? here at last. Thanks for sticking with it. We started this last year when I lifted the sapwall murders. You've seen that piece of video now. You saw me keep some back, set aside some sapwalls last year and I planted them in the spring of this year and now we're going to harvest them. What we're going to do, we'll go down the garden uh, to the raised bed and we'll take the short row of three sapo mirror nearest the camera and they're the standard size seed potato sapo mirror. We'll bring it back up, we'll wait and then we'll go and do the remaining three sapo mirror, the short row of oversized seed potatoes and see if they've thrown us any more potatoes, any bigger potatoes, is there any difference, is it just the same, we'll soon find out. Come on, let's go down the garden.
Right, let's get these uh, sapos in this bucket. As you can see, I hope, I've calibrated the scales to take into account the weight of the bucket. Let's do this. I only hope they all fit. <laughs> Those scales are moving. <laughs> I have been reliably informed that um, even if we go off scale, because of the design of this type of scale, it should still be accurate. Okay, so when that pointer gets to the top, if it gets to the top, we've got 11 pound. And for every one round of scale, we have another pound. We're anywhere near the top yet. I can just catch it as I'm uh, leaning over for these potatoes. We're at quarter two, aren't we? So we may not actually get to the top. Quite a few mollies here, look. <laughs> Yep, there mollies. Where are we at here? Right. Let me just do that. And then have a look. Well, just short of 11 pounds, would you agree? Would you agree? Just short of eleven pound from three set aside sapo mirror, standard size potatoes. Okay, so let's get these off the scales. Let's go back down the garden and let's lift the three big lads. Come on, let's do it.
just looking at these, I think we've got uh, more bigger potatoes. And I think we've got more potatoes. What do you think? Just looking at it. Yeah, I think we've got more potatoes and we've got more bigger potatoes. Um, but we didn't get one like Boomerang Boy from years gone by. We just didn't. Now I'm thinking that this load will go off scale. I think we'll get more than that 11 pound here. Now there is some soil on these, you can see that. If you want to do an adjustment, do an adjustment. I'm not bothered. <laughs> I'll leave these out to dry. And brush the soil off them. Put them in a paper bag. Store them in the garage. Eat them when we need them. This might turn into a balancing act actually when we get to the near, near to the top of this uh, bucket. Hey, can you see them through the sides of the bucket? I mean, I, I don't know, I'm just loading up, I'm directly above it. It'd be nice if you could. Where are we at? Have we reached the top yet? I can't be far off. And I guess because this is a trial, or an experiment, call it what you want, there should be a conclusion, shouldn't there? Well, I'll let you decide what that conclusion is. You tell me what the conclusion is. Growing um, standard size. Growing from standard size seed potatoes and growing from bigger seed potatoes. Here we go. Right, let's have a look. Oh, get in. Get in. That's 14 and a half pound, just about. And the first bucket was 11 pound, just about. So let's make it 11 pound and 14 and a half pound. That's three and a half pounds more potatoes from the big lads. So, conclusion. What is it? Hey, keep it plain and simple. Don't get too technical on me. Conclusion. And also, is this worth doing? Is it worth growing from those, those big potatoes? Because the other thing I will be doing, um, when I've cleaned these guys off, when I've concluded this video, I will be cleaning these potatoes off and I will be sorting some of them out to grow next year. Um, do I keep some big ones? Or do we just go with the standard size? What do you think? What do you think? Hey, let me know because you know, we've got weeks and months ahead of us before we plant these again next year but in the next week or two I would really like to sort out what I'm going to be keeping for next year okay right, so I hope you've enjoyed this video I've enjoyed the experiment I'm a bit disappointed that I didn't get some really big potatoes from this, uh, if I'm honest. But also, if I'm honest, <laughs> couldn't care less. Couldn't care less. We're only going to eat them. Big, small, medium, doesn't matter. They're going indoors. They're going to be eaten. Um, so, yeah, we've got to be happy with this, haven't we? Come on, this is a result. Three set aside seed potatoes. That's a result, isn't it? Yeah, that's a result. Come on, homegrown veg. This is homegrown veg signing out.